Purdy here. Purdy has just shown signs of being in labour. She's been to the poo pile three or four times in the last hour or so. And you can just begin to see a bit of nose poking out. It's a bit windy here. I hope that's not interfering with the video. It may take as much as half an hour. I don't know how long I get um, to broadcast this. Purdy is mated to a Harlequin Leopard Appaloosa Domino and she herself is a Leopard Appaloosa so I'm really really hoping to get a spotty career but who knows. Purdy's very confident around people so I know that me being here and talking isn't going to upset her. Some of my other girls might be a bit more shy about it. Those that are new to birthing, we'd expect to see the um, head and the front two legs first. Um, often the mum will wander around then having a graze while the baby's hanging out, shaking its ears and things like that. And then we see the shoulders, which is the widest bit of the baby, before she finally drops all of it onto the ground. And then I'd look for it to be on its feet within about half an hour. There's the head. It's looking promising for an Appaloosa. It's got white forehead just like Purdy herself. So we've got two front legs and a head. And this is usually a position where the alpaca will have a little bit of a rest. May go out and have graze. Imagine now if she was just out in the field grazing, you might not even spot this. She's not looking at all distressed by it. The only signs that made me think it might happen today was a couple of extra visits to the poo pile from about half past 12 onwards. wondering what that alien is that's hanging out. Here comes Hohova coming in to have a look and see what's going on. 
The baby's now beginning to cough. Just made a little noise. That's uh, Purdy's half-sister, Dottie, just come up to check it out too. All the mums are beginning to realise something's going on. Baby's just coughing. I know it's breathing. For those that are asking, this is a Domino Crea. Domino is a Harlequin Lepidapalooza. And Purdy is Archie's half-sister. As you can see, it's shaking its head quite vociferously if Tiny got out of the way. Poor old mum's being mobbed. Crea seems completely happy. I'm not worried at the moment about it being in any distress. can hear talking. It's looking like it might be a harlequin leopard Appaloosa with a white stripe on its forehead but a little bit early to tell. We're now waiting for a bit more neck then we've got the big push for the shoulders. Uh, Dottie, would you leave my phone alone? Thank you. There's too many of us trying to get a picture of this baby coming out. We're gradually getting a little bit more leg. Going to push again.
like privacy when you're an alpaca, is there? Those of you who aren't used to alpacas birthing, sometimes they'll give birth lying down. They often rest at this point as they go through the birth. And then uh, other, others will stand up and the baby falls to the ground, but they're very flexible at this age and don't seem to hurt themselves. You can see more legs, more neck. The babies are born with the skin on, a uh, skin covering them, which most mums we've got the shoulders, that's good. Uh, most animals uh, clean off, but alpacas don't, and that tells us it's like a wind cheater, and it keeps the alpaca warm until it's mobile enough um, to be able to generate its own heat. So this is looking like a good sized prayer. It's 340 days gestation which is fairly normal. 343 days is what they tell us to expect in the UK. Whee! We have a baby. Devon it's very warm here it's about 20 degrees um, we do have a bit of wind but it's not bad at the moment so no rush to worry about the baby getting cold at the moment I know you're all going to be wanting to know is it a girl or is it a boy I don't know yet. So there's a few things that we'll do in the next hour or so. Um, we'll spray its navel to prevent it getting infection in with an iodine or a navel spray solution. Um, We'll put a coat on it before it's dry if we think it might chill off and we'll weigh it but probably wait until we get into the barn um, in an hour or so's time um, to get its birth weight. We'll check that mum's got milk 
and this is a baby because it's relatively early in the year and the nights are cold she'll definitely be in the barn overnight in a pen with her mum on a bed of hay My husband, who's been observing closely, says she's a girl. I don't have a naming strategy, but um, I thought maybe I've got 22 due this year. Maybe I'd start with A for the firstborn career. So names beginning with A. So we definitely have a little girl here. Healthy little girl. Do you have the nasal spray? Yeah, I'll get it wet. And the coat. I'm not an expert on guessing baby weights, but I'm guessing that this one's probably at least um, maybe seven kilos, that sort of weight. Mum's not particularly big. Mum's only about 60 kilos. If you want to see the dad, if you have a look on Mullicott Alpaca's um, webpage, there's a picture of Domino on there. And mum is purdy. This one's up on its feet. It's doing its, her best already. <laughs> right, I'm going to sign this off now. I'll post some photos of her later on. Thank you all for watching.